Hello everyone. Let's continue to learn few more interesting math tricks. I have already taught you how to multiply any number by 11. Now those who have not seen that video can find the link in the description box below. Today we will learn how to multiply any number by 111. Now this is the conventional method, right? Which is very long and very lengthy. So we'll do it in a very shortcut way. So let's get started. First we will learn the concept and then we will work on the calculation speed. Now let's multiply 345 by 111. Now the nearest base for 111 is 100. And 100 has two zeros. So you have to place two zeros at both the ends of the number. And 111 is a three digit number. So you have to add these digits in a group of 3 starting from right to left. So let's add 0 plus 0 plus 5. You will get 5. And then leave one digit and start from here. 0 plus 5 plus 4 will give you 9. 5 plus 4 plus 3 gives you 12. Now 12 is a 2 digit number. So you have to write like this. Here 1 is the carry forward. Now again start from here. So add 4 plus 3 plus 0 which is 7. Now 7 plus 1 gives you 8. And the final one 3 plus 0 plus 0 gives you 3. So your answer is 38,295. Let's take one more example. Let's multiply 23,645 by 111. So you have to place two zeros at both the ends of the number. And start adding these digits from right to left in a group of 3. So 0 plus 0 plus 5 is 5. Then 0 plus 5 plus 4 is 9. Then 5 plus 4 plus 6 is 15. Now this 1 is your carry forward. Now 4 plus 6 plus 3 is 13. 13 plus 1 is 14. Again, this one will be your carry forward. Now, 6 plus 3 plus 2 is 11. 11 plus 1 is 12. 3 plus 2 plus 0 is 5. Plus 1, 6. And 2 plus 0 plus 0 is 2. So, this is your answer. Let's work on making this trick work faster. So, let's work on the calculation speed. Now, let's take the same question. So here if you see, first we added these three digits, right? 0, 0 and 5. Now if you see, there is no use of adding these two zeros to 5, isn't it? So what we do here is, we directly copy this 5 digit in the answer. Alright? So this was your first step. Now this was your second step. Now in second step, we have added 4, 5, 0. So hide this, no use of adding 0. Just add these two, 4 and 5. So if you see here, you have to add these two digits, right? So 4 plus 5 is 9. Now this was your third step. So here you have added 6, 4, 5. So 6, 4, 5. You have to add these three digits. So you will get 15. So you have to study the pattern like first we have to take one digit and then we have to take two digits and then take three digits right. Now since 111 is a three digit number you can't take four digits. So you have to continue taking the three digits right. So this is your fourth step. So you have added 364. So start from this digit 3. 6, 4. Add these 3 digits. So you will get 13. 13 plus 1 is 14. Alright. Now next. Your 5th step was adding 2, 3, 6. So take 2, 3, 6. Add these 3 digits. So you will get 11. 11 plus 1 is 12. Now you reached the last digit. Right. So now you have to. Start reducing the number of digits. So now just take 
two digits. So you can see here in the sixth step we just we took zero two three right. There is no use of taking zero. Just add these two. So we are adding two and three right. So you get five. Five plus one is six. Now your last step you added zero zero two right. So no use of adding zero. So you can just take. This last digit and write two in the answer. So you can see both answers are same. So basically, we can avoid putting these zeros and we can save our time, right? We can directly do, you know, mentally, uh, we can do addition first by copying the first digit as it is, then add next two digits, then three digits you have to add. Then again, three digits. Continue that until you reach the last digit. And once you reach the last digit, you have to start reducing it. Then take two digits and then take one digit. I hope you have understood. But still, let's take one more example. So let's multiply six thousand three ninety eight from one hundred eleven. So first, you copy eight as it is. Then take the next two digits. So it will be nine plus eight is seventeen. Now take three digits. It will be twenty. Twenty plus one is twenty one. Then take these three digits. So nine plus three is twelve. Twelve plus six is eighteen. Eighteen plus two is twenty. Now since I have reached the last digit, so we can start reducing the number of digits. So six plus three is nine. Nine plus two is eleven, and then copy the last digit as it is. So six plus one is seven. So seven one zero one seven eight is your answer. Now these two questions are for all of you. So do practice this and master this trick, and don't forget to comment down your answers below. That's it for this video. See you very soon with few more interesting tricks. Until then, goodbye. Take care.